What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Switch Sports Golf video. Today I am back on the grind, trying to push to new ranks that I've never been before. Currently in S6, obviously the ultimate goal is Infinity Rank, but the next step for me will be S7. And I want to get a little bit closer to that today. I'm going to play some games, try to win some games, and get some more rank. Now we are starting here on hole number 5. The wind did push me into the rough. So stroke 2 is going to be a little bit more difficult. We're not going to get as much distance on it, which means our stroke 3 chip onto the green is going to be a little bit harder as well. But I still think we can make it work. We land pretty nicely on the fairway here. And probably just going to go full power with the 9-iron. I'm expecting quite a bit of roll to the right once I hit the green. So I'm adjusting a little bit more than I think is necessary for the wind. Nice shot. And we do get quite a lot of roll. So if you saw there, we bounced kind of on the near side of the green, or the edge a little bit. But we rolled like way into the middle, right up to the hole, so that was a pretty good approach, I would say. Good enough to sink birdie for the first hole of this game. And four birdies there, so starting the game off tied for first. Could be expected when you get hole five, but the tricky wind did give some of our opponents a par. We move on to hole number six for the second hole of this match. So not the easiest hole, however. The hole placement is on the right, so we can clear the trees there. We're just gonna drive down this fairway, account for the wind just a little bit. Nice shot. So from here, we should be able to drive onto the green, or chip, I should say. It's not going to be easy, though, calculating for the wind, as well as the power. The hole is on the near side of the green, so we might have to land on the rough and then roll onto the green. And to do that, I'm going to go a little bit under full power with the 5-iron. Definitely add some backspin as well, although I don't know the exact power. So it's going to be a little bit of a guess here. You know what, it was okay. I did try to go a little bit more. If you saw my practice swings, I got a little more than my actual real swing. But to be 17 feet away for the birdie on hole 6, I'm not going to complain. But not the easiest putt either. But we sink the ball on hole 6. That's a good birdie. So a little bit of a sketchy putt there. I didn't put a lot of power on it. But... As you know, a birdie is a birdie, so that's going to give us 20 points going into the semifinals and the solo first place position, so we have a bit of a lead here to play with. Moving on to hole 16 here with wind that is going to prevent us from being able to take the shortcut, so we're going to have to go around this time. Nice shot. Not going to be the easiest birdie here. But I think from this position, I should be able to chip onto the green, especially with the wind. Now, this tree in front of us is in the way, but after adjusting for the wind, I should be able to clear the tree, and the wind should push me onto the green. And I don't think I'm going to get too close to the hole, but I think I have a better chance of doing this than driving it under the tree. So I will go for this. It actually wasn't too bad. I'm a little bit surprised that I got so close, but not gonna complain. Only 11 feet away there. And that is a really nice birdie off hole 16. So three holes down, 30 points next to our name. Also have a five point lead here. So our chances at the win are looking pretty good at this point. 
and the chances at gaining some elo off this game are pretty good as well although the lobby wasn't the highest rated so we might not get too much rank but if i can secure the win that's the best i can do in this situation Well, that was a okay approach. To be 20 feet away off full 17, not bad. If you've played this game, you know full 17. Notoriously hard to get on the green. Ooh, and that is another really nice birdie. And another sort of sketchy putt there. Our ball rolled around the hole before sinking in. So I've made every putt this game, but not very convincingly but it has led us to a nine point lead going into the final hole pretty safe to say the win is mine here if i get a par that's a guaranteed win now with the hole on the right i have to give it more power because we might land on the rough not rolling as far nice shot we do land on the rough which Definitely took out a little bit of momentum on our ball, but 12 feet away here. And another putt sunk. That's a pretty nice 50 point win. So overall, just a good, consistent performance for myself there. 50 points, second place only had 41, so it wasn't really close or competitive. I'm curious to see how much rank we get. Let's check that out, and then we'll jump into another game. Pretty low amount to be honest but I guess that's to be expected when you have a rank discrepancy in your lobby and for this game we find another decent lobby there was one S0 player the rest A or B ranks so a win here will probably give us the same amount of rank as last match but we do have to win first nice shot. and that is easier said than done in this game Probably gonna have to tune up my putting if I want to win this game as well. We had like three out of five putts last match were pretty sketchy to be honest, but a really good opportunity here for a chip and eagle. I'm gonna go a little bit over three and a half dots with a nine iron and look to roll right into the hole. Nice shot. Ooh, that was. Not even close, to be honest. Miss the aim, and we end up on the fringe. Can't really tell how much the slant is here. But I read it pretty well. It's a little bit of a scare there, but a nice birdie. And pretty much birdies all around. There were two pars, but pretty much going into hole two, back to square one. No real advantage at the moment. We find hole number two once again. Different hole placement this time. Hopefully I can get the same result as last time, which was a birdie. I'm going to go a seven iron here, about three and a half power. Nice shot. In a close attempt, but not quite close enough. Nice Just a little bit off for the wind and topography adjustment. So we roll right beside the hole. But we sink birdie, I won't be complaining about that. And a couple less birdies this hole compared to last hole, but still a four way tie for first. We're on 20 points going into the semifinals. First hole of the semis, we got hole eight with what looks like pretty tricky wind. So 22 mile an hour wind, pretty hard to the left. Definitely gonna make this hole a little more difficult. I will go around three and a half with the five iron, maybe a tad under. Nice shot. And that was a pretty good approach. For a second there, I thought we were going to roll in for the hole-in-one. 
And that is a pretty good birdie off full eight. And our opponents are dropping like flies right now. It went from a six-way tie to a four-way tie down to a two-way tie for first. We got two holes left. Let's see if we can outplay our mini rival here on the last two holes. We get hole nine. Not the biggest hole nine fan, to be honest, but this wind doesn't look like it's preventing us from the birdie. Nice shot. So should be able to secure 10 points here. Keyword being should. Doesn't always pan out like that, of course. But I will curve my shot a little bit here, just because the wind right now is pushing me into the rough. Ooh, looks like it's just enough curve. But we do manage to land on the fairway. And from here, it doesn't look like seven irons are gonna be enough. I think a tad over three and a half should be pretty good power. I don't want to roll too much because the hole is at the back of the green. So if I roll past and onto the fringe, that could be pretty bad. Nice shot. And it was an okay nice chip. Shot. Only 12 feet away, but some topography to deal with here. Although it doesn't look too harsh. Oh. Well, that was pretty poor. I moved the opposite direction that I should have moved. I guess I just mixed up the uh, green map here, or the topography map. So that's a bit unfortunate because that is going to put me behind now. After a silly mistake there, I find myself in second place and in need of a three-point comeback with only one hole left to go. And we get hole four for the final hole of the game. And we get no win, so a little bit unfortunate RNG here because the guy in first is probably going to birdie that. But I can't blame it on RNG. Completely my fault that I'm in this position anyway. Had a temporary lapse in focus last hole or whatever you want to call it. Still gonna do my best here though. Nice shot. Nice one. Nice baby. So a tough loss here. No one to blame but myself, cool. but I I think with second place, I'm probably going to lose rank here. And that is a little bit of rank lost. Let's jump into a third game, see if we can make that back. So third and final game of the video here. Let's end this video on a positive note. Going to try to get a win here. We have an S0 player, the rest A players. So once again, not the best lobby in terms of how much rank we can get. But a risky lobby in the fact that if we get second or worse, we'll lose rank. Now, tricky hole to start off with. We got hole 11, crazy win. I'm going to go a bit under full power with backspin. Nice shot. And I think we should be fine here. Sometimes your aim is so good that you hit the pole and it'll shoot you off really hard and you'll land like 20, 30 feet away. Or you'll just land in a position where it's really hard to putt. Almost as if you are punished for your good aim. But should be fine here. And yeah, I will take birdie off full 11 with crazy wins. A sketchy putt yet again though. You probably saw there, we almost missed. I think if we had a little bit, just a tad bit more power, we would have lipped out. But I've said it before, I'll say it again. A birdie is a birdie. We are going into the second hole with 10 points, which is hole 12. Definitely looking to eagle this one. Get ahead of the pack a little bit. Nice shot. Can't give it full power there because of the tailwind. 
even with less power, we go, looks like farther than normal. But this is gonna be a little bit tricky as well. Gonna try to get kind of halfway between three and a half and full power. I'll add backspin just to slow my ball down when it hits the green. Uh, that's really light. Or not. You know, I really thought we were going to be in the bunker there because... I meant to give it actually quite a bit more power. I kind of messed up my, my swing there. Ended up being perfect. And my mistake leads to a really easy eagle here. So that... Although that was an eagle, really doesn't strike confidence in me because technically I did make a mistake. However, I'm gonna forget about that. I'm now in first place by three points. A very nice three point lead going into the semifinals. And hole seven, crazy wind, probably my least favorite combo in the whole game. Nice shot. Good news is I have a three point lead. So I have a little bit of wiggle room, if you will. I don't have to play perfectly. And that's good for this stroke because I'm not entirely sure exactly what power to go. I think I'm just going to send it full power with backspin though. Because that'll be enough to get me somewhere on the island. Now if I can get par on hole 7 with almost max wind, I'll be satisfied with that. Especially because I have the lead. And it was actually kind of close to going out of bounds. We almost go to the water there. Completely misread the wind. Like I wasn't even close to getting the wind right. But like I was just saying, I have the lead so I can afford to miss one or two strokes for the rest of the game. Five feet away, we should be sinking the par putt here. I'm not sure what my competitors got. So I don't know where the standings lie, but we'll find out momentarily. So the guy in second also parred. There was one birdie, but they're pretty far behind. So I maintain my three point lead here, going into hole number four. We get hole nine again. Looks like we have a tailwind this time, although more of a directional wind, so probably won't be able to drive onto the green on our second stroke. Nice shot. Although it's tempting to go for, honestly, I might be able to land in the bunker before the green but I'm not going to risk it. No need to since I have the lead. We'll just go for the normal stroke. Should be able to sink birdie here, which will be good enough. And from here, I think three and a half, probably a tad under three and a half will be good. Wind should carry me a little bit. Which it does. Didn't get the topography correctly for the eagle there. But not too far away for the birdie chance. Although, cannot mess this one up like I did last time. So, two hole nines this video, two missed putts on hole nine this video. I guess hole nine is just my kryptonite right now. And look at that. Still in first place. As I've been saying this whole game, the lead, it's nice to have. It's a little bit of a cushion. And even after two pars, 
The lead we built up in the first two holes is enough to keep us in first place. However, only up by one point. So there is zero room for error at this point. Whichever one of us outplays the other person on this hole will be the winner. Hole 14, I will try to take the shortcut here. Nice shot. Not a lot of wind, so I have to get the aim pretty much dead accurate, which, as you can see, not even close. And my only way to get onto the green here is to backtrack. And I don't think five irons is going to be enough because I'm downhill from the hole. So we're going to have to be very precise with the three iron here. I'll try to get three and a half with backspin. Nice shot. Nice. So I got more than I intended, but we barely cleared the bunker there. So I think if I had gone three and a half, which is what I was trying to get, I probably would have been in the bunker. So once again, I made a mistake, but it ended up working out better. And I do have to sink this putt if I want to win, because I saw the person in second get the birdie. Thankfully, I do sink that putt. Wasn't too sketchy. And a little bit of a scary match, if you will. Took a nice lead off the first two holes. Started to fall behind on the second, and just barely came in clutch on the final hole secure the 48 point win we'll definitely get some rank here probably won't be too much just a little bit there but if you enjoyed this video do hit the like button got a lot more content coming out on my road to infinity rank